was an American sculptor, one of the best known of his generation. He created, uh, was commissioned to create many uh, public sculptures. Uh, many of these are portrait sculptures, commemorative. All of those are men because at that time and really only until very recently, there simply were no commissions for sculptures of women. There were plenty of subjects, of course, out there waiting to be uh, commemorated and honored, but there simply was not the interest or the money behind them. So his commemorative sculptures are male and portraits, uh, which uh, by definition almost limits what the sculptor can do because the portrait has to look like the person, among other things, and has to honor them somehow by their uh, stoicism, their strength of character, uh, all those sorts of things have to be there. But French also created a number of public monuments uh, that, uh, in which he deals with the female figure. But in this case, they are all allegorical. But I think that in turning to the female figure and using it in his art, which was, again, by definition or by necessity, allegorical, it freed him up in a way to use the human body in a more emotional, a more graceful, uh, more artistic way than he was allowed to do really in, uh, or even probably would have thought to do in male figures. So there's this uh, interesting uh, duality to his production. Uh, he's not the only one for which that is true, but because of the quantity of the sculptures he created, uh, he's a very interesting case study. Thank you.